Hey, folks! Ready for a transformative journey into the world of investments? Today we're going to unravel Peter Lynch how to invest for beginners with his five golden rules, courtesy of the master of Wall Street. Let's dive into the strategies that catapulted funds into the financial stratosphere. Want to find out how Lynch turned $20 million into an incredible $14 billion in just 13 years? We're decoding his key rules, revealing secrets that will change your financial life. From investing in what you know to resisting market fluctuations, each rule is a crucial step to success. Don't miss out! And if you enjoy it, subscribe to the channel for more powerful insights. Let's go! Rule 1. Invest in what you know. Hello, everyone. Let's talk about the first golden rule of investments, which I consider the foundation for financial success. Invest in what you know. This idea is brilliant, and honestly, it's a move that makes complete sense. Master Peter Lynch from Wall Street teaches us that this rule is not just about buying stocks. It's about buying into stories, strategies, and the secrets behind financial titans. The key here is to have a deep understanding of what you're investing in. Lynch suggests going beyond the obvious and investing in companies whose products or services you know and understand. Let's be serious, it's not just about consumption. It's about understanding what's behind the curtain. A practical example? Imagine you're a tech enthusiast, a loyal user of Apple products. You not only use them, but understand the innovation, quality, and strength of the brand. This knowledge gives you a real advantage when considering investing in Apple. Why does Lynch emphasize this so much? The answer is simple but brilliant. Gaining an edge in the world of investments. When you deeply know a company, its product, and its market, you have the advantage of identifying potentials before professional analysts and the market in general. It's not just about numbers. It's having an insider's view. Investing solidly and informed, not based on rumors or trends. It's the game changer that can turn your portfolio into a well-planned strategic move. So folks, embrace this rule. Dig deep. Understand the business you're investing in and ensure a more solid financial future. After all, that's the key to illuminating the path to investment success. Rule 2. Be patient. Hey, folks. Let's talk about a rule that, in my opinion, is the key to success in investments. Patience, my friends. Peter Lynch, the master of investments, teaches us that investing is like tending to a garden. You don't harvest fruits immediately. It takes time for the seeds to grow and turn into something spectacular. It's rule two. Be patient. So what does Lynch mean by this? He advocates for a long-term investment approach. No trying to get rich overnight. It's like a marathon, not a sprint. Lynch saw investment as a long-term game, and I totally agree. Unlike the high-frequency trading we see out there, he believed that the beauty of long-term investment lies in giving companies the time they need to overcome challenges and grow consistently. Let's be realistic, folks. Patience is not just about waiting. It's about staying calm keeping faith in your choices even when things get a bit turbulent. Lynch said that by adopting patience, not only do we allow our investments to grow, but we also let the magic of compounding do its part. This means your wealth doesn't just grow linearly, but exponentially. Remember that temptation to sell during tough times? With patience, you hold on to your investments, confident that they will recover. Lynch wasn't joking when he said the stock market is a slow enrichment scheme. But seriously, patience pays off. So take a deep breath and embrace this long-term journey. Rule 3. Ignore short-term market movements. Hey, guys! Let's have a chat about a golden rule of investments that makes perfect sense to me. Ignoring short-term market movements. This is Rule 3, and believe me, it's a true game-changer. Peter Lynch, the master, taught us that, in the world of investments, it's easy to get lost in the ups and downs of the market. But he had a brilliant insight. Focus on the fundamentals of companies as the true drivers of long-term value. What does this mean in practice? Well, Lynch wanted us to understand that the market is like an amusement park full of ups and downs. And seriously, this doesn't necessarily reflect the true value of a company. He encouraged us not to let short-term fluctuations dictate our investment decisions. Why? Because in his view, and I agree, fundamentals are the key. It's like keeping focus on the health and growth potential of the companies in your portfolio. By ignoring the noise of short-term market movements, you keep your eye on the real prize, the intrinsic value of companies. This approach keeps you steady in the midst of the storm. For example, imagine there's a temporary market downturn. 
If you're focused on short-term movements, you might panic and sell your stocks. But if you follow Lynch's Rule 3, you stand firm. After all, the real value of the company shines in the long run. It's like surfing the tide against the current instead of panicking and following the herd. So when you see those numbers flashing in red, remember, the real game is about endurance, not impulsiveness. Keep it steady, my friend. Rule 4. Buy big companies, not cheap stocks. Hey, folks. Let's talk about a fantastic rule of investments that I really admire. I'm talking about Rule 4, and it's a real game changer. Buy big companies, forget cheap stocks. Peter Lynch, the master of investments, was straightforward when he said that quality surpasses quantity. Let's delve into this concept. The idea here is to focus on the quality of the company, its competitive advantage, and forget the notion of buying stocks just because they're cheap. It might seem tempting, right? To have a bunch of stocks for a few dollars. But Lynch, the wise one, reminds us that most of the time, these cheap stocks have their issues. So he suggests looking at larger companies, those with a clear competitive advantage. And you know what? I agree 100%. Let's illustrate with an example. Imagine two companies, A and B. A's stocks cost $5, while B's cost 50 at first glance, it seems like A is the obvious choice, right? But if we dig deeper, we find that A is a bit problematic, full of debts and without a clear strategy. On the other hand, B, despite being more expensive, is a rare gem. It has a solid balance sheet, growing revenues, and a strong growth strategy. So which one do you think Peter Lynch would point to as the better buy? He would go for B, without a doubt. Why is this so important? because Lynch shows us that the price you pay for a stock is as good as the value you receive. By investing in big companies, those with a clear competitive advantage, you're not just buying a piece of paper, you're acquiring a stake in a company. And these companies are more likely to withstand crises and offer you consistent returns over time. It's like picking a winning horse in a race, you know? The quality of the company outweighs the price of the stock. So let's forget the illusion of cheap stocks and focus on what really matters. Companies that have everything to stand out. Get to work, folks. Rule 5. Do your own research. Hey, guys! It's time to talk about that rule that separates amateur investors from professionals. Rule 5, which lays it out straight about doing your own research. I'll tell you, this is crucial, and I'll explain why. Peter Lynch, the master of investments, always emphasized that there's no shortcut when it comes to investing. If you want success... You have to roll up your sleeves and thoroughly understand the companies you're investing in. No following the crowd or relying solely on others. The real magic is in doing your homework. Imagine you're thinking about investing in Starbucks. Doing your own research involves studying the financial health of the company, analyzing revenue growth, profit margins, and understanding the growth strategy. It goes beyond the numbers and really knowing the game. Now why did Lynch value this so much? because he believed that anyone could be a successful investor as long as they were willing to put in the work. By doing your own research, you make decisions based on knowledge, not on speculations or market gossip. You become self-reliant, don't fall for nonsense, and aren't influenced by others' opinions. Doing your own thorough analysis gives you the confidence to stay the course, even when the market is turbulent. So folks, the next time someone comes with miraculous tips or the latest market trend, remember Lynch's Rule 5. The journey to wealth is a marathon and you need to run it wisely. Come on, roll up your sleeves, dive into the companies you believe in, and do your research. That's the key to standing out in the world of investments. Until next time! Hey fellow investors! We've reached the end of this incredible journey through Peter Lynch's golden rules. I hope these tips have sparked the flame of financial wisdom within you. If you enjoyed unraveling Lynch's secrets and want more powerful insights, don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel, and share your thoughts in the comments. After all, knowledge is the key to success in investments, and we're here to tread this path together. Let's build wealth and financial freedom. Until next time.